Satan comes to divide you, my dear friends. So Jesus unites you, devil divides you. You have will have divided nature when you are possessed by Satan. And this is exactly in many ways it can happen to our lives. Saint Paul says, I do what I don't want to do. So it's a divided nature. So she is scattered, he is gathered, but then the, the wolves will scatter the sheep, the flock. So if you are if you're having a divided nature, I mean it's a it's a sign that you are controlled by the evil one. Today we find this person, when Jesus asks the devil's name, he says, I'm legion. Legion means 6,000 personals in a legion. So that person is divided into 6,000 demons inside of him, not united. The Lord is dealing with it. You know, when you are under demonic forces, it's not only when you are possessed. No. If you, demon can, evil one can catch hold of you in many ways, control you in many ways, in your own addictions, in your own memories, in your inferior complex, in your own way of weakness. My dear friends, it's not easy. And you cannot, you cannot take things for granted. No, you have to deal with it. Because this person is suffering, you know. When he's possessed by the evil one, he's suffering. They arrived at the other side of the lake. No sooner did Jesus leave the boat, than he was met by a, by a man with evil spirits who had come from tombs. The man lived among the tombs and no one could restrain him, even with a chain. He had often been bound with fetters and chains, but he could, he would pull the chains apart and smash the fetters and no one had the strength to control him. Night and day, he stayed among the tombs and on the hillside and was continually screaming and beating himself with stones. This is exactly what the evil one wants to do in your life. Make you suffer. Make you, make you go through that pain. And he enjoys it. But then Jesus comes to save you. Save you completely. He does not want you to suffer. You need to suffer in a way as a slave to the sin. No. But then when Jesus is encountering this person, things change. When he saw Jesus, from afar, he ran and fell at his feet and cried with a loud voice, What do you want with me, Jesus, son of the most high God? For God, God's sake, I beg you, do not torment me. The demon is praying. Even devils can pray, isn't it? Demon is praying to say, Don't torment me. Don't bother me. Don't disturb me. And he believes that he's son of God. My dear friends, Jesus came to, came to win the battle with the evil one. And he has already won the battle. No one could control this person. No fetters, no chains, nothing. But most sooner, his encounter with the Lord, everything changes. They should happen in our lives. The things that you cannot change, the things that you cannot have a control, allow Jesus to deal with that. My dear friends, what happens? On the great herd of people, then the evil one begged the Lord. He said this, because Jesus had commanded evil spirit to come out of that man. When Jesus asked the evil spirit, what is your name? He replied, Legion in my name for Viva our army. And it kept begging Jesus. 
not to send them out of that region. Now a great herd of pigs were feeding, feeding in the hillside, and the evil spirit begged him, send us to the pigs and let us go into them. And Jesus let them go. So see, Lord has to allow that. Allow them. So demon, devil does not have any ownership over any person. So they go to the pigs and they will, all, the, all that flock of pigs, they kill themselves. This is the ultimate, ultimate thing that the evil one wants to do in your life. Make you die. Judas killed. Jesus committed suicide. This is the ultimate thing, death. First, he, it will put you to a spiritual death. You lose the connection and you, you are completely done. And even physically, he wants you to kill yourself. This is exactly what happened to pigs. But the pathetic thing, the people of that country wanted Jesus to go away because they lost the pigs. Literally, they valued pigs than the Lord. And they asked Jesus to leave the place. My dear friends, it's a terrible choice that we make when we sin. We choose pigs, not Jesus. Dirty pigs, stinking pigs in that choice. What a pathetic thing, my dear God, my dear friends. But then that person who is healed, they saw the person is completely healed. What, what matters was the pigs, because that's their trade, that's their income. So in that, in that lust, they wanted Jesus to leave. This particular person wanted Jesus to stay. But the Lord is saying, no, you go to your home. It's beautiful. When Jesus was getting into the boat, the man who had been possessed begged to stay with him. Jesus would not let him and said, go home to your people and tell them how much the Lord has done for you and how he has had mercy on you. So he went throughout the country of Decapolis telling everyone how much Jesus had done for him and all the people were astonished. This is a, this is a mission that you have. So you are sent, you are sent with a mission, your past, the dirty, darkened past, the past that you suffer with the devil, the only, with the, all of your weaknesses, it's going to be a light in the future. So you have a mission with your broken past. The Lord is going to build a kingdom with the broken pieces in your past. So this person goes and proclaims the good news. People were astonished because they saw how he was captivated by the evil one. No, how he was not controlled by anyone. So this is exactly what we should do with our lives. Our brokenness, our broken fallen past is going to be a witness today and tomorrow. So let's go out and tell how the Lord has been good to myself. And that's going to be a good news in all the others who listen to me, who witness my life as a changed person. Think about it and have a nice day. May God bless you.